Jeff. Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, we look at how to add a files field to a USP form so visitors can submit images and zip files or PDFs or any type of file, really. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have the plugin installed and activated. And now we can head over to USP Forms. And these are the demo forms, and you can learn more about them in the previous video on demo forms. For now, let's go ahead and choose the image preview demo. And as explained here, this form demonstrates image previews. So let's take a look at that. Let's publish the form. And we can either view the form directly or we can use the short code to display the form on a poster page. But let's just work directly. So we will click on this link and check it out. Here's our files field. How does this form work? We'll call this post test one and we'll call it add some content there now let's choose an image and that's what this is this demo is about this image preview demo shows you how the image previews work when a user selects an image you get a thumbnail of it and if you click the thumbnail the full image opens up so it's kind of nice and let's see if we can choose multiple files yes we can and if we do, then they'll all show up here as image previews. So we can submit this post, or we can go ahead and take a look at some other cool things we can do with files. Let's say we want to add another files field. A great way to get more information is here at Plugin Planet. There is a tutorial for multiple file upload fields. And this is great because it explains the four types of fields and how to include them in any USP form. So we've already seen the primary files field, which is added via the USP file shortcode, and we can see that right here. USP files and some attributes that we use to customize the field. Let's say this is for JPEGs and PNG files only. But let's say we want to add another files field where people can upload video or PDFs or whatever it is. So to do that, we head over to Plugin Planet. And referring to this tutorial, we have three other types of files fields that we can use. So prefix files fields and custom custom files fields, these are for advanced configurations. You know, they're not really needed for a new form unless you're trying to integrate USP into other plugins or scripts, then these two types of fields will come in handy. But for now, we've got the primary field and we want to add another field. So custom files field is more than sufficient. All we need to do is copy this and come over to our custom fields. And these are the custom fields that are attached to this form. They're not included in the form yet, but we can add them by copying their short code and then pasting into the form. And for more information about custom fields, check out the previous videos on, those, on that topic. So for now, we add a vertical bar and specify the field as input file. And then we update and then add the custom field by copying its short code and pasting it into place. And then we can click update and refresh the page and now we see two files fields here and let's customize this a little bit to do that we can head over to plugin planet and in the sidebar here we go to USP Pro and then go to the short codes and here is a complete short code reference and what we're looking for custom fields and the custom field attributes that can be used the first thing we want to do is limit the types to just say we just want to collect mp4 for the second files field here. To do so, we can add types, and then the pound sign is the separator. So on this side of the pound sign, we have the attribute name, and on this side, we have the attribute value. So we can add mp4, and if we also wanted to allow, let's say, flv, we could do that right there. So now this is a file input field and that accepts MP4s and FLV. So we update, and now 
Let's also add another vertical bar and add a label, and the label will be upload video. And another vertical bar, and we'll add a placeholder that also is upload video. Now we click update, update here, and refresh the form, upload video. So we are just about there. Now with this form, we could choose some JPEGs or PNGs, and then for the video, we could choose some videos. And if we wanted to, we could add multiple videos. So there are a lot of options. This is how you add multiple files fields to any form. If we wanted to add a third files field, we could do so by simply copying this, adding a vertical bar, and then pasting this attribute into, the, into another custom field. So this one also is a file input field. So we would update that, copy, and then add to the form, like so. Click Update, Refresh, and now we have three files fields. Notice here, a quick tip, that this enables us to select multiple files at the same time. This one, however, does not. It only allows us to select one at a time. And then we can click Add Another to choose another file. The reason these are different is because they are using different attributes. So if we go back to the shortcode reference, scroll down to method, we see that method attribute is enables us to select multiple files or use the add another link. So if we add the method attribute and specify select to our custom field, like so, let's do it with this one, vertical bar method select, and let's also add that to this one. And then make sure to update and update the form. Now we can refresh, and we see now that we can choose multiple images and multiple videos, if these were videos, and so forth. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.